Hey everyone, in this video we are going to start the initial rectangle of Spongebob. Uh, so one of the first things we want to do here in SketchUp is we want to type the, on the keyboard letter R or go over here uh, to our rectangle tool if we've changed it. Um, but the letter R should set up our rectangle tool. Uh, and then I'm going to quickly refer to the blueprint just to see what we're doing here. But we're making the 300 millimeter uh, wide by 400 millimeter high rectangle. All right, so going back in here to our SketchUp for Schools, uh, what we want to do is we want to go find the origin. And the origin just should be up and to the right of our model here. I haven't deleted her because I like to keep her around until I make stuff in my model. Um, so I'm going to select on the origin. I'm going to move my mouse to the upper right. And I'm going to either select again. If you were clicking and dragging, you just release. Uh, and then what we want to do is we just want to type. Don't try to click anywhere. Don't try to move your mouse around anywhere. Just type in. 300 comma 400. All right, so my first dimension followed by my second dimension. We'll see if our dimensions are right. X being first, Y being second. Enter. All right, whoa, okay, so it is. It looks small uh, in perspective compared to Our Lady because we are about, what, 40 centimeters wide is 400 millimeters. Uh, so just over a ruler of thickness that way as far as width uh, and our height is 400. Um, oh, actually, our width is 300, or 300 so that is ex almost exactly a ruler um, that we have in, in class. Um, anyway, uh, that is the start of our uh, 300 by 400. Now, one of the things we always can do after we create things, just to make sure stuff is correct, is we can go over here to our dimension tool. Uh, if you got to the later videos in the practice stuff, you have already used this. If you haven't, um, it's over here in the left-hand edge. It starts being the tape measure. You want to go slide one tool down where it says dimensions. And what we want to do is we want to pull that side. Sorry, I had to quickly turn my video off because of an announcement. Uh, anyway, we're back, uh, but we were, we're in the dimension tool, and all we're going to do is we're going to select this edge or a point to another point, and then we're, after we select it, we're going to move to the right or up or down, all right? But I select it, move it out, and you can see that I have 400 millimeters, uh, the correct measurement that way. If I go to the bottom line here and do the same thing, click and then move, and drop, you can see that I'm 300, all right? If my numbers are different there, I will explain later how to change those, or uh, sometimes it's just easier to restart and relearn how to type in uh, the data correctly to make a correct rectangle, all right? Um, 300 comma 400. All right, thank you for watching this video. Hope it helps.